Good morning, everyone. It's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, of course, the thought of oneness and togetherness and unity is all on my mind still, and I suspect will be for some time. So I wanted to make another video about this sort of concept. I want to talk about togetherness today. So one of the quotations that I came across was by Mother Teresa or is by Mother Teresa. And this quote says, I can do things you cannot, you can do things I cannot, together we can do great things. And I love this. So of course I love Mother Teresa quotes in the first place, but I love this concept because a lot of times people will get to a place of I can do everything on my own. And it's possible that they can. I do believe that people have incredible abilities, but you might be able to do something better with someone else. So I was remembering this morning about a course that I took in the naturopathic college. It was botanical medicine and it was um, touted to be quite an intense course. It was a lot of information. There was a lot of academic memory work to do. And I remember that our entire class was really concerned because our instructor was fantastic and was a wealth of information and had so much information to share about so many different herbs or botanical medical products. And I can tell you that, or botanical medicine in general, I can tell you that uh, we were so caught up in writing down the details that would come from his mouth. And there were so many, and uh, he knew them so, so well and had so much information in terms of whether it was um, the actions of the actual herb or there was um, the contraindications of when to use it, the indications of when to use it, what interactions it could have, what kind of other connections it had. There's so much information on every single herb that we were learning, and we were busy writing as he was speaking. And I remember because we already knew from previous classes that this was not an easy course and uh, it was uh, known to have a lot of students that would fail that class uh, or that course or exams in that course. We were all so concerned about how are we going to pass this course and how are we going to memorize all of this information and all of these details. And I remember my particular class was really fantastic. We had a few students that decided to get together and one of them was very good with drawing. So not only drawing, but like literally putting a, an image together that if people were visual learners, they'd be able to look at the image and remember that herb name. Another person was very good with uh, summarizing information. So could put in like two words that would describe the actions of that herb. And then the person was really great about putting all of this together. And it was so incredible that that group came together to put that together for all of us. And it was a beautiful thing to see. So much more easy to go through than the information that we were writing down frantically. Now, of course, I wanted to make sure I didn't uh, forget any of the details that weren't in all those pictures. So of course, I had to understand all of those details that were uh, said in the lectures. At the same time, the people that used the pictures were actually able to do just as well in the course. This was interesting. When I think about togetherness and strength in working together. I love that memory. So I came across another quote, which is by Aesop. And that quotation says, in union, there is strength. And I so believe this, whether it's two people, whether it's a dozen people, whether it's hundreds of people or thousands of people, when there's a united decision um, or direction, there is strength in that. And you know that this can be for good things or not so good things, right? So we do know that wars happen with strengths of people um, working together this way. And we also know that uh, incredible achievements are made in terms of like environmental conservation, for example, that are also so many people working together to create something. So we come back to the individual level and we think, okay, so in a uh, the average individual's life, there might be a good friend or they might be the relationship. Um, and those are probably the closest unions that uh, we can in most regular unions that we see. Now, are you aware of the unions that you are having with people, the togetherness that you have with people? Do you understand your contribution to that togetherness? Do you understand the contribution of the other side? 
I think this is a really important concept to pay attention to because even when we look at businesses, oftentimes um, there's someone working in an office doing lots of work because everyone is doing lots of work everywhere, okay, even if their office is at home, and there's someone else in a completely different office or somewhere else, and sometimes there's a board meeting, a uh, Zoom meeting these days, <laughs> at uh, then shares what everyone has uh, gathered in their own different sections and what's being put together. And it's phenomenal, right, to see what different people are doing and to see how it all contributes to the whole creation of whatever is being produced. And it's such a beautiful feeling to just recognize that. It's such a nice feeling to be aware of how are you working together in whatever groups you're in and are you aware of the groups that you're in. So let's say you are single and you are walking along and you hold a door open for someone. That for a moment was a togetherness, right? You saw a need of someone else and you held a door. And I can tell you that if you are mindfully aware of where <clears throat> your efforts are in terms of the togetherness, because I really believe that we are all connected in some way. And it's wonderful when you start thinking this way, you can start seeing how togetherness does bring us strength. So both for the individual and for the collective. And this strength is what I want to get you to focus on because unless we're aware of it, we're mindfully oblivious, right? We are, or not mindfully, right? So mindlessly oblivious. But that oblivious place loses so much and the mindful place of actually taking in and appreciating and loving that connection and how this couldn't have happened if this didn't happen. Even you go to the grocery store, you can go to the grocery store and pick up your fruits and vegetables. Do you ever stop to think, where did that fruit or vegetable travel from? How did it get to your, your particular grocery store? How is it coming to your home? Um, where has it traveled through, right? So it's again, where, what was the soil it was grown in? And then, of course, some people think about organic versus inorganic, but where? Where is it growing? And then who is actually handling that food? And how is it being transported to you? So whether, you know, planes, whether trains, whether cars, um, what kind of love is being put into that? If there's the farmer who's actually planting those seeds originally, do you realize how many different steps take it to that grocery store that you just picked it up from? And being mindfully aware of this helps us realize how together we really are and how interdependent we all really are. I, um, as you know, I'm very interested in energy medicine. I want to make sure that you have this awareness so that as soon as you start realizing how interconnected we all are, it makes us mindfully aware of everything that we're doing. And I believe that when we are mindfully aware, and certainly if we are focused on improving ourselves and improving the world around us, miracles start to happen. You know that I love the topic of miracles too, so I'll be talking more about that in the future too. But I came across this uh, quotation that I really felt applied to teams working together, groups working together, couples work to working together, the togetherness and the union of this energy. And it says here, this is a quote by St. Augustine, and the quote is, miracles are not contrary to nature, but only contrary to what we know about nature. Miracles are not contrary to nature, but only contrary to what we know about nature. So when I think about this, and I think about togetherness and union, there is a magic that's created with good energies coming together with the intention of the common good or the greatest good that comes out of a situation. And today, I'd love for you to sit and think, who are the people that you are in union with? What is your togetherness? Is it your office? Is it people that you've known from your high school that you still keep in touch with? Is it your relationship? There's a bunch of different unions that are happening constantly and really positive unions. And then can you focus on what is gained by that union and how the other person is helping you and you are helping them too, or the team is helping you and you are helping them too. I'd love for you to spend five minutes to just think about that and think about how that union and that togetherness is contributing to the greater good. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.